What is up guys, Coop here, and today we're going to be looking at the Ranger build. Specifically, I like to call this one the Sniper Wolf build. It is specifically a Lone Wolf Ranger build. Now, I know a lot of people do get upset with the Lone Wolf builds, but this is specifically a build that I think scales better with being a sort of Lone Wolf uh, based talent because it, in general, just scales a lot better uh, compared to in a four player group where it kind of trinkles off and is not as good. So let's actually dive in and look at the stats and talk about this build because I know a lot of you guys love it when I look at the stats. So first thing I've been doing is I've been splitting 50-50 down the middle finesse and wits. Just going straight down the middle just 50-50 just bouncing back and forth. Now I did put one point into memory. The reason I did that is just so I have enough memory slots to get all the appropriate spells that I need because we do need all these different slots. So 12 is perfectly good to have especially when going forward. We get all that finesse to scale up our damage and increase all of it that we need. And then we have wits to increase our crit so that we constantly crit with our weapon. Now, let's actually dive into combat. So combat's a little bit sort of complicated. One of the things that's very important, in, especially when you're doing this build, is getting all the sort of skills that you need and then worrying about your weapons later. So what I did was I got myself up to sort of a level three with Huntsman. Mainly, I, I, I honestly just went up for level two. And then after that, I put two points into Scoundrel, which is why I like having sort of the lone wolf uh, aesthetic to it, because you're able to just put one point into something, but you get two, so you're able to get the spells that you want from that spell tree and not have to worry about it. And then I put a point into Warfare. Later on, I will explain why we put a point into Warfare. This is actually very important for a very important talent. So basically, what we do is we start off with good old Huntsman and then after we put a point into Huntsman we also put a point into Polymorph and that's sort of what we start off with and then after that we put a point into Scoundrel and then after that you put a point into Warfare after you've put your sort of points into those four sort of trees from that point on you're going to put all of your points into range Be and the reason that you're putting your points into range is because it increases your damage and your crit once you get to the soft cap of sort of 20, from that point on, you can start putting your points into Huntsman again or into Warfare because Warfare also scales up physical attacks, which your bow is considered a physical attack. A lot of people forget about that, but your uh, bow is considered a physical damage ability, so that does increase with your stuff and also some of your spells as well. And then for civil abilities, I just kind of chose whatever was honestly on my mind. Persuasion is a pretty good one, though especially as a main base character. Now let's actually get into the stats. The main stat I wanted to show you guys is Executioner. The re whole reason that we got Warfare was for the skill. And the reason for that is we're basically, we're going to kill these uh, people really fast with this build. And then what we need to do is have more action points because we're a ranger. They're going to slowly make up their way to attack us. So it's very important that we have extra action points. So we kill a target, boom, we can focus on the next one. Kill that target, boom, onto the next one. And having that lone wolf with all that extra AP is very helpful. That extra two AP and the extra recovery AP, having those partnered up with that allows you to get multiple, multiple shots off and not have to worry about anything. Next, I chose Far Out Man because you're a ranger. You need that range. I mean, it's in the title. It just goes really well, with, especially with what you need. And especially because you're a ranger, you want people to slowly make their way up to you. You are that annoying bastard that keeps teleporting all over the place and just basically being annoying to them. And I have a lot of good spells that we're going to be showing you that actually help out a lot with that. Now, the next is good old Hothead. Hothead increases our crit chance and increases our accuracy. We don't want our attacks to miss. That really sucks. And also having that crit is helpful because now we're at 50% crit. So one out of two shots are going to be hitting and critting. So super helpful for us. And especially because now with having more crit and more accuracy, we're a really good powerhouse character, which allows us to kill people faster, which allows our executioner to proc. It all synergizes together. So it all works out really well. And then also with Ifon's ability of getting a bonus initiative and also increasing crit is just honestly super helpful as well. And then obviously Lone Wolf. Now as time goes on, you're going to be putting more stats into things. Um, these are mainly the stats that really matter. Now, after you max out, I would say, sort of max out your different combat abilities. Once you hit 20 with this, just start dumping everything into Warfare. 
And then what you can do to really bust up your character is getting Pitcher of Life, or Pitcher of Health. Uh, and the reason that you're doing that is you're going to be putting all your points into Warfare and getting an exponential amount of just crazy amount of damage out of it. And you're going to want yourself to survive, and this is a good way of getting all that survival without having to put points into armor, or having to put points into constitution, or constantly running around with health potions. It's a great way of kind of scaling that all together. So, that's definitely what I would suggest. Uh, you can choose Comeback Kid. I, I'm a firm follower of Comeback Kid. The reason that a lot of people are getting a lot of controversy is because when you die, you come back only at 20% life, but there's also Morning Person that brings you back to full life, which, yes, that is true. But, however, Comeback Kid allows yourself to stay in the queue. So, you kind of have, like, you know, the turn kind of going on. So, it's like, you know, enemy's turn, then your turn, then your, you know, your partner's turn, then the enemy turn. And if you die and have to be res back, you waste your entire teammate's turn and you waste yourself coming back. And, like, it just adds a lot of extra stuff that you really don't need. Yeah. Comeback Kid allows yourself to be alive for that moment and then also be able to attack and do the things that you need to do and make plays. So, very helpful there. Uh, if you do decide to partner it up with a sort of a different spell tree, so you start, like, picking up some, like, Arrow Fridge or something like that, uh, Savage Sword of Lich is always a good one as well. But the rest of them, honestly, the, after you kind of get these talents, you can kind of do whatever you want. The Executioner, mixed with Hothead, mixed with Far Out Man, mi mixed with Lone Wolf, it just all synergizes really well together, and that's why it's very important that you get that. So, let's actually look at the spells, because I do have a variety of different spells. Uh, one of the ones I really enjoy, though, is Arrow Spray. I would highly suggest picking that up, because you fire 16 arrows in a 60 degree arch and each of those arrows does a significant amount of damage and piercing damage I think the piercing damage is due to my weapon but uh, basically it does a crap ton of damage and it's super nice now once I get sort of leveled up and I get a few more memory slots I'm going to be using this spell but if we actually look at all these different spells here I kind of have them nicely arranged in a nice little manner here now keep in mind the restoration spells only due to my armor I actually don't have that spell so let us look at this elemental arrowheads the reason I got elemental arrowheads is it gives me an alternative way of doing sort of magical base damage. Sometimes enemies just have a crap ton of physical damage and I need to figure out different ways of getting around that. So choosing that elemental surface that's really nice and helpful for me is great because I can boost up my stuff. Or maybe I'm just hitting the opponent and they're bleeding and I want to get some more extra physical damage. I just click on the blood and then get some more physical damage. It's a win-win situation, and it only costs one action point. You really can't complain there. Then I have all my different elemental arrowheads. Uh, I kind of keep them all together with elemental arrowheads because, you know, just partners up really well together. Now, next, I have good old Ricochet. This is a great way to hit two targets at once, and just it, it hits two targets at once, and that's the sort of the way to go. Next, I got Sky Shot. So... One of the things with having range is you're able to get that sort of increase in damage. As you can see there, I get 35% 35, 35 increase in damage, and that comes from my Huntsman talent. Now, with this, this always allows me to have access to that Sky Shot to do that extra percentage of damage, even if I'm on the ground. So if I'm actually on the ground here, no matter what, I will actually still get that Sky Shot because we are jumping into the air and increasing the elevation of our attack so we get the bonuses like it says here now let's actually talk about our escapes because this is the part that really puts it all together this is the part that you know yes you're a powerhouse but what do you have to escape when they're right in your face well the first one I got is spread your wings this allows me to jump across the map and sort of fly around and basically get myself up to those higher elevations or just get the heck out of those bad situations Next is Tactical Retreat, which is another great one. And partnered up with Far Out Man, I can teleport way out here. So if I were to pick a fight with these guys and it's not going so well, I can just get on out of there. And that's super helpful as well. Also, with having Elevation, you can teleport really far with it as well. So partner Elevation with Far Out Man, it's crazy. That's why I, I suggested it. Next is Chameleon Cloak, an alternative way of getting yourself invisible and getting you out of those situations or getting you to where you need to go. Uh, say like you have a bunch of people here, say like all these guys have um, sort of opportunists, and they all, if you run by them, you're going to get whoop de whopped but you really need to get up here. So what you do is you do Chameleon Cloak, you walk your way around, and get yourself up to the higher elevation without having any worry. And then the next thing I chose is Cloak and Dagger, yet another teleport, just another way of getting myself out of those sort of a bad situations. Then I have encouraged to increase my attributes uh, just in case if I have one action point and really nothing to do with it, that's what I would do. Adrenaline just to give myself some more action points to make sure I get those kills, which helps me 
proc my executioner and it just all goes really well together so if a target's about to die i hit adrenaline i get those extra action points i get that extra uh executioner proc and then boom i keep going as you can see it kind of all goes well together yeah. and next i have first aid just because it, it's a nice little heal with having huntsman so and also keep in mind it gets rid of crippling blinding silence being knocked down poison burning all that so it's a way of getting around all those different things. A lot of people forget that uh, some of these things cure a lot of different stuff, and this is one of those ones that has a lot of potential and uses out of it. So, very good there. Now, let's actually dive into combat. I chose a really kind of particularly hard fight, so let's actually dive in and show you sort of what I do when I go in. All right, so basically I have my setup right now. I chose like the high ground. You won't always have these sort of situations, but the first thing that you gotta do as a ranger is kind of like analyze who has like the weakest physical armor. So this guy's a ranger. He has really weak armor. He has really weak armor. And this person has moderate armor. So that's the first thing I kind of look at when I go into this. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is probably opening up a ricochet. I want to hit two targets at once and I want to have that bonus. So we're going to do that. Okay, so we've hit our target now. He's at very low uh, sort of physical based armor. So what I need to do is commit to this kill and try to get him as low as possible and as fast as possible. And then what I can do here is, uh, obviously I'm getting low on action points, so we're gonna do this real quick. Commit to that kill, get those two extra, extra action points. This person also has low physical armor, so we're gonna do that real quick. And then what we're also going to probably do is, hmm. We have a few choices here, but I think, yeah, I think what we're going to do is probably inspire real quick, get a nice little buff going on, and then we'll go invisible for right now. That way they have to spend a whole turn just kind of either buffing themselves up or just kind of running around figuring out what exactly just happened. So she's healing herself up, but that's okay, we're going to be probably getting close to killing her next turn um, so we have to decide real quick if we want to commit to this kill right now I have adrenaline which isn't very helpful for us so and they just use their buff up spells so I think I'm gonna wait another turn I know it's very kind of crazy especially with having four action points but I want to make sure I have enough to commit to the kill and we have maximum uh, sort of uh, points here so let's actually now get out of this form go ahead and kill this person Bully commit to the kill. So bam, she's dead. Now I need to figure out different ways of killing these types of people. So first thing I think we're going to be doing is killing this person. And we'll do one more attack. So he's probably going to be trying to come up and attack us. That's okay. We can handle a few attacks. Or he might just sit there and just... Okay, yeah, now he's coming up. I believe this person has blitz attack, so. No, they're doing all in. They're trying to destroy my physical armor so that they can knock me down. That's obviously very hurtful. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to do a quick heal. It's very important I keep myself nicely healed, and I also get that nice uh, rested bonus. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're probably just going to kill this target, I think. Yeah, that's probably what we're going to end up doing. And if, if we don't end up being able to kill her, yeah. So we weren't able to kill her, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to teleport down here. So now he has to walk up all the way here. He might get a hit on us, but that's okay. So he crippling blowed us, but that's okay. She has to come all the way down. I really doubt she'll be able to get an attack on us. That's okay. Now we can just commit to our kill. Commit to the kill again. Boom. Uh, I really want to get as much damage on this guy as possible, so we're going to do that. And I'm going to do a good old cloak and dagger. Position myself in a way to where I know I can shoot him. Get that perk of all that extra damage on top. And then we're going to spread our wings just in case he comes up here again. There we go, he's doing a shield up ability. Now keep in mind, these guys were all level 9s, so it's very important to keep in mind there. Um, so, 
he is going to be coming up. But what, one of the things that's really nice with Blood is it increases our damage more. Increases more physical damage. So that's another thing to keep in mind, especially if you're in an old magic party. Elemental Arrows is still pretty good. Uh, so I think we're going to probably do a good old attack on you. And well, we'll, we'll drink like a small little health potion. Get a little bit more health just in case things go badly. And just in case he knocks us down. Now keep in mind, you'll typically have someone else in your party, so you're able to actually make more plays here. So one of the things is, okay, now we have Chameleon Cloak, so we have a way of escaping if the going gets rough. So first things first, we're going to do Sky Shot on this guy. Going to do another attack. And we'll do an Inspire. Give myself more life. And make myself go invisible. So he's kind of sitting there, he doesn't really know what to do, which is great for us, and now we can commit to the kill. And boom, we even had an extra two action points, so we would have had like four or five extra action points to do whatever the hell we wanted. And now we just officially killed all those guys, and look at that, I even got a crossbow out of it. Boom, boom, and that's better than what I had. So, cool, cool all together. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that. I wanted to show you guys, just in short, a nice little build of how to do sort of the ranger right. And as time goes on, obviously, you would just put more points into finesse and uh, obviously wits. And then from there, you'd probably pick whatever talents really fit you as long as you follow these along the way. You can pick up a nice little talent that kind of gets rid of a little bit more constitution uh, with the w Widow's Bite, which you guys can check out that quest on my channel. It's an easy way of getting an extra talent to get plus two into a stat that you want while taking away two constitution. So, very good spell altogether. Anyways, I hope you guys do enjoy. Be sure to like and smash that subscribe button. We are trying to get up to 1,000 subscribers by the end of February, and I know we can do it. You guys are awesome. I thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.